My name is Janice Sims, producer and actress here in the South Florida area. Today we have Jody Dupreece here in our studios. Good morning, Jody. How are you today? Good morning, Janice. Thank you for having me here today. Thank you for being with us. You are the talk of the town. I hope that's all good. It's all good. It's <laughs> all good. I met Jody a about two years ago on one of my projects, International Lovers. Which, by the way, had to be a wonderful filming. Thank you so much for that. Tell me, Jody, how did you get started in the industry? This industry was started with me. Oh, God. We're talking back when I was a child. My parents were in the theater. And if there's anything to open your eyes to that, being backstage, which we know behind the scenes. Right? Behind the scenes. <laughs> I had the good fortune of seeing actresses getting ready for their parts, and with that, it was falling in love with the preparation. Okay. Which, you know, behind the scenes, you see it all. You see it all. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, for the next amount of years of seeing back and forth of that industry, my parents of uh, traveling, I fell in love with it to where I went to beauty college. After graduating from high school, where did I go? Where did you go? New York City, the Fidel Sassoon Academy. Fidel Sassoon, I love that place. That opened the door to me, to the filming, fashion industry in New York. And I tell you, that was an era, Janice. You have no idea, the 70s in New York City was, <laughs> oh, it was spectacular. It was spectacular. With that, I had good friends that were all in the fashion industry, theater, and introductions came very easy, but you had to work part in New York City. Okay, tell me, who did you have the privilege of meeting? My first big chance to introduce me to the fashion industry was Miss Beverly Johnson herself. The v Beverly Johnson? Vogue Magazine's first beautiful black woman. Beautiful, be beautiful, man. beautiful woman. Gorgeous woman. Yes, yes she is. In and out. In and out. <laughs> With that, I basically um, fell in love with seeing how behind the scenes of that industry went. Very hard working, and you had to be dedicated. Yes. A, lot, a lot of work. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. With that, it was just a matter of uh, introduction to photographers all throughout the city. You had to work hard, pay your dues. One thing led to the next theater, filming, and then from there, coming back to Florida. I met with some of the most outstanding toddlers through the modeling agency. Get a call one morning from Bob Lask himself, and guess how I was introduced to How was that? I had a Playboy model shoot with Penny Baker herself. This was center fall of 1984. Wow. Fell in love with that, and had been working with Playboy models for the next 30 years now. Awesome. 30 years. Oh, was, and they still keep me around. So, you, so, you, so you've been around the block here. <laughs> oh, how many times? <laughs> <laughs> so with that, it was uh, after Playboy, it was just a matter of one thing followed to the next. It's back and forth to New York. I had the good fortune of meeting Ford Models Michael Metz, who introduced me to Bruce Weber himself. Oh, wow. Okay. Which was uh, GQ Magazine. GQ. And that was just the start of many. Okay, so I was told that you also work on the, besides International Lovers and other films that you've done, you worked on uh, MTV. MTV. That, that was in our well, wild 80s, okay? Oh, wow. And if there was ever a lesson to learn, it was seeing the filming behind MTV. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bless her heart. I, I did enjoy that. Okay. Uh, a lot of travel was involved, okay. so between L.A. and South Florida and New York, I was able to go during this filming times okay. of the year. So you travel between the three, si three oh, states. Oh, that, that's the only fashion industry I know. Okay, tell me a little bit about um, Miami Vice. Miami Vice, oh, you brought that one up. Well, that there was an uh, introduction from John Barry himself. Okay. And for the next couple of years, through our modeling agencies, we supplied our models to the filming of okay. Miami Vice. And that's where I had the good fortune of meeting some of our top actresses who Don gone on. Johnson, I'm sure He was a character. Right? Him and the alligator. Yeah. I hated that alligator, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> So it was a matter of uh, Miami Vice, and then from there I began to do a lot of commercial work. Okay. 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 Uh, Miami Dolphins football players was one. Uh, from there I did Killer Bees with Bob Lasky. Uh, one thing entitled the next of just climbing. Okay, okay. Tell me, 
what is Jody doing today? Today, Jody has uh, branched off into the filming industry here in South Florida. Okay. And with that, it's a matter of good fortune with yours as well. Thank you. That uh, we branched off into uh, an era of South Florida of picking up on the filming industry here. Uh, it's a love that I, I, I'm cherishing. And let me tell you something, Janice, if you know yourself, yes. behind the scenes as a makeup artist, oh, yeah. I have the good fortune of that. Oh. Okay. Great. Well, that's it for our show today. Thank you for coming, Jody. I thank you for this was a pleasure. Thank James. you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll so be much. working yes. again on another film. Absolutely, I hope. absolutely. Oh, you got it. Thank you. And yeah. that's a wrap. <laughs>